What's up guys? You're watching the Johnny Cliff channel. I have a brand new Hot Wheels Boulevard set that I need to get cracked open and I'm very excited. I have number 96 all the way up to number 100. There's something different about the 100 card. We'll have to get to that when we get there. But first, let's check out the number 96. The first one in the set, we got the 2021 Toyota GR Supra. Check out that awesome artwork on there. Here is the back. Now, you're going to see the full set on there. Right here, we have all of them. We're going to open them all up. Here is that barcode. Go ahead and have them scan it at Walmart, and hopefully you can find it. This is a Walmart exclusive. You're only going to find these boulevards at Walmart. All right, now... Let's talk about the history. We're going to talk about the history of most of these castings because I have mostly all of them. And some of them I went out of my way and I bought some of the stuff so I can have it loose. Let's go ahead and talk about the 2021 Toyota GR Supra. Let's put it to the side for right now. The first time that we've seen it. Fast and furious. And it's matte orange with those 10-spoke black wheels. It looks amazing. Uh, we've seen this release. What is it? two more times after that so we've seen this release maybe three times now and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people have headaches with fast and furious because they'll see the same casting get released multiple times so let's go ahead and put that to the side right over there in frame and the second time that we've seen this 2021 toyota gr supra was team transport at the racetrack check it out here's the back of it very cool. There's a Corvette C6R in the set. There's a Volkswagen IDR. Now here's the transport. We got the aero lift with it as well. Let's go ahead and get it cracked open. We're opening it for that 2021 Toyota GR Supra. So we can have them all loose. So I got this at a recent Hot Wheels show in Orlando, Florida. Very exciting. I had to grab it when I saw it. I was like, oh man, that's the one I'm missing. Boulevard's coming out and... uh that's the one I do not have. All right, here it is. GR livery. It's got the Vaveline on the side of it. And it's still rocking those 10-spoke black wheels that we saw on the Fast and Furious one. And it's crazy because those same 10-spoke wheels are going to be on this Boulevard one. It would be nice to see different wheels on this Toyota Supra. This one's rocking a clear window tint. I'm a big fan of the clear window tint. And it's just appropriate for this race car, right? You wouldn't tint a race car windows. Big fan of the Gretti livery. It looks nice. We'll go ahead and stick it on the team transport, the aero lift. And we'll go ahead and throw this up on the spin table. Just for a couple seconds, we'll spin it around. Um, it's rocking black wheels. It's got chrome trim on it. It's got a red interior on that aero lift. It's got the GR livery on the side of it, which looks really cool. Uh, big fan of it. Looks very nice. All right, let's go ahead and park that up right here. Let's go ahead and move on finally to the 2021 Toyota GR Supra. Now, this is the third release of this. We've seen that release maybe three times. And uh, first, second, now third. So let's go ahead and get this Toyota open and uh, check it out on the spin table. It's a Formula Drift livery, which is just so cool. Definitely fitting for the Toyota Supra. And some will say this looks like a BMW, right? It has a ton of authentic logos. It's got the Formula Drift along that front windshield. It says Canon on the hood. It's got Pennzoil on that rear fender. And it's got the Toyota emblem on that front bumper. It's got a lightly smoked window tint with black interior. And like I mentioned earlier, it's rocking the same 10 spoke wheel, this time in gray. It's got a nice shiny black base. All right, and that is the 2021 Toyota GR Super. Let's go ahead and park it up right there. It looks fantastic. All right, let's move on to the next one in this set. We have number 97, the 60 Fiat 500D Modificado. Looks very nice. Huge fan of this casting. I'm very excited to see this in uh, Super Treasure Hunt this year in uh, gold. We've seen this two other times in premium that I know of. We've seen the air-cooled one. We've seen the golf livery one and uh, the Super Treasure Hunt. And I think this would be the third time minus the Super Treasure Hunt. I could be wrong. Didn't do too much research on this one. I don't have any other premium castings of this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it cracked open. I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks very nice. It's kind of cute to be honest with you. Let's get it cracked open so we can check it out loose on the spin table. Here it is. Very small car. Reminds me of the original Mini Cooper. I uh, love the, the small little red wheels. What are those? 10 spoke with chrome trim on it. 
and the color is just so fitting for this casting and i think it's really cool that they have the engine bay showing and we have both passenger and driver's side windows down it's rocking a very nice red interior it's got the rear tail lights the headlights all the tampos are there it says fiat on the side door and also on that front hood it's a very nice clean fiat 500d modificado let's go ahead and park it up super cool um, i like it big fan of it seeing a couple of them being left behind on the peg all right Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 was super excited to see this one. I'm a huge fan of it and I'm a fan of it too because growing up there was a guy down the road that had the same exact 3000 GT in the same color so I rode in it as a kid and I thought it was super cool. Twin turboed and uh, that thing was quick. I would go and ride in it and he would just floor it for me. Now let's go over the history of the 3000 GT the first time that we've seen it in red with these awesome gray star wheels which i think those star wheels look really cool and it's got you know lightly smoked window tint with black interior or actually that window tint i would say is clear it says spicy gt on that rear license plate with a black base and that's the first time that we've seen this 3000 gt let's go ahead and park it up right there the second time we've seen it car culture mountain drifter set with a 10 spoke black wheels actually gray wheels with another clear window tint and black interior and it's got a black base and i think that blue paint job looks spectacular all right let's go ahead and move on to the next release in premium that we see the 3000 gt vr4 super cool we have a third premium of it now which looks so cool with those gold wheels let's get it open and talk about it throw it up on the spin table get a close-up on it and uh really get a good look at this 3000 gt all the tampos are there love how they put the mitsubishi emblem on that front bumper and also says 3000 gt on the back the license plate says avr for me if you know what that means put it down in the comments i'm super curious now we're rocking those five spoke brown wheels which looks so cool along that green paint job very clean clear window tint black interior Let's go ahead and park it up. 3000 GT. Let's go ahead and move on to what's got to be the most popular car in the set. Nissan's never get left behind on the peg. Check out the artwork. Now the artwork can be a little bit different on that 100. So take a good look at this one right before we check it out. Nissan Skyline GTR BNR R32. Super cool. Very happy to see another R32. We've seen quite a few r32s in the history of hot wheels let's go ahead and check out that history we're talking premium baby first time that we've seen it in black fast and furious with those five spoke black wheels it's got clear window tint black interior it's pretty much murdered out black it looks really cool and we've seen this released a couple more times too like i said fast and furious hot wheels people get upset about it because they say they're milking it but really i think it's great it's another chance to get uh these hard to get casting so no complaints there let's go ahead and park that up that's the first time that we've seen the r32 let's go ahead and park it back here and let's talk about the second time that we've seen these nissan skyline r32 we've seen it I've, now i bought this two pack first time that we've seen it was this casting right here in car culture now, I bought this two-pack because I don't have it loose, and uh, I want to get it loose. So, let's go ahead and get it cracked open. Uh, this is a re-release of it, and we'll talk about that one a little bit later. That one's released a little bit later, but this is a re-release, same casting as the original one that I'm talking about. So, let's get this open. We'll put that to the side back there. We'll get to the red one here in a second, but right now, we're checking out this awesome HKS livery nissan skyline r32 it's got a very light window tint on it and it says powered by hks along the front windshield i love those white star wheels on it it looks super cool it's got the front and rear headlights and it's got a black base looks super cool big fan of the hks livery r32 i gotta say that's one of my favorite that have came out all right let's go ahead and park that one up that's the second time that we saw it let's get these cars out of the way now the third time that we saw it was advin team transport super cool awesome to see a advin livery nissan skyline r32 peeking out of that 
Securus printer. Let's go ahead and get it cracked open because you can't see it in there. So what other way we're gonna put it on the spin table, right guys? I get it cracked open. We are opening a lot of Nissan Skyline R32s in this video. Let's get straight to it. Here we go. We'll park the Advin Secura Sprinter right there on the side. We'll check this out on the spin table. It's rocking five spoke gray wheels with a red base. And this one has better headlights and taillight livery. But the HKS goes over the headlight. Not sure why. Maybe because it's a race car. It doesn't need headlights. But we're rocking a clear window tint with the white interior on this Advent livery. And Advent livery just looks spectacular on the Nissan Skyline. Let's go ahead and park it up. Super cool. That was the third release of it. Here is the Secure Sprinter. I'll just show you guys it real quick. We're not even going to throw it on a spin table. Super cool. There it is. Cracked it open. All right. Let's go ahead and park that back here. And let's check out the fourth release of... The Nissan Skyline R32, which is this one from the Nissan Diorama set. Super cool in white. This was a very clean color. Very happy to see it. Just like that black one. Uh, a nice clean look. Rocking the same wheel. Does five spoke wheels. It's got a black base and all around super clean clear window tint with gray interior. I'm a big fan of this and it looks great next to that black one that came out as well. It's going to look great next to the white one that's coming out in this boulevard set that we're going to crack open here in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and park that one up to the side. Let's go ahead and check out the next release. Part of a two-pack, that's right, we got the Nismo livery. Check out that R34, super cool. But that's what we're looking at right now. We're looking at the R32 Nismo Skyline R32, super cool. There it is in the two-pack. What was on that set? Oh, we got the uh, RTR Spec 5. We got the uh, Superbird. Super cool. Let's get it cracked open. We're looking for that R32. So, I didn't have this one loose. So, let's go ahead and get this one cracked open. Here we go. We are looking at the R32. What is this? The fifth release now. 10-spoke black wheels. Nice gray look. Super clean, clear window tint with black interior. Got a black base. All around looks super nice. And like I said, we're getting a lot of these skylines. Let's go ahead and park it up and move on to the fifth release, right? One, two, three, four, five, six release. Sorry. Here it is. That same one that we just pulled out of that two pack with the HKS. It's rocking five spoke wheel. And it's got a really nice clean red base. Same color paint job on the car it's got a clear window tint with black interior and i gotta say this is one of the coolest ones that they have came out with and there's a very cool easter egg about this uh skyline so let me go ahead and show you guys this see if we can get it in there to focus but right there on the passenger dash it's got a license plate it says california wow cool so i don't know if you guys have seen that but i wanted to show you guys that i thought that was pretty cool in the interior Let's go ahead and park this up right here. We have so many Nissan Skylines. Now let's talk about the Boulevard new release, Nissan Skyline GTR R32. Finally, what is this? The seventh release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, baby. We're talking about the seventh release of this. We've seen a lot of releases of the R32. Let's get this thing cracked open. Let's finally put this one on the spin table. Super clean. Love the 10 spoke gold wheels it looks great along that white paint job and it has such a cool livery on it it looks like it's got pokemon on the side of it so that's pretty cool it's got a black base it's got a clear window tint and it's got black interior now on the first five releases of the nissan skyline r32s they didn't put plates on the dash for the passenger side but like that last one i showed you it said california wow cool this one also has a plate let's check it out i'll show you guys it what does it say it says panda let me move my hand there so we can get some light in there let me get it up close and it says hot wheels panda 32 super cool i couldn't even see that with my own eyes i had to get that with the camera but i'm wondering if they are starting to put that on all the skyline r32 releases i'm not sure if there's another one coming out soon so we'll have to see 
with that next one. I'm I'm, I'm sure they're not going to stop making these R32s. Let's get to the number 100. We are finally at 100 for Hot Wheels Boulevard. Now, there's obviously a lot of Boulevard that released before these, but we are at 100. Lamborghini Countach LPI 804. You guys are probably wondering, what is different about this um, blister pack compared to the other ones? Now, at the Hot Wheels convention, at the sneak peek, they showed that there was going to be fireworks here. You can see the fireworks in the windshield. And also, too, right here on the curb, it says number 100 right there. Super cool. It doesn't say that on any of the other ones. As you can see right there, there is no... 100 on the curb but there is right here all right let's get this one cracked open the first time that we've seen this one in white and this one was in car culture and it was also the chase which i don't have that chase yet well i do have it just not cracked open i uh, love the red interior on this one they also made this a 143 scale hot wheels which is super cool let's go ahead and put this one to the side let's finally check out the number 100 the final car in this mix i love the blue color on it the kunchach is a legend let's get it cracked open and check it out on this spin table love those brown gold wheels along that blue paint job i think that looks spectacular it's got a black interior with a clear window tint and i gotta say the black along that blue looks so cool this is such a clean lamborghini i love it all around i'm so happy that they redid and modernized the Countach because that is a legend with Lamborghini. I love the Countach. The original one is super cool. Let's go ahead and park it up right over here if we can get it in the frame. We have so many cars leashed now. So many packages out here. And we opened up a lot of good stuff in this video. I had a lot of fun getting all these cars leased. And I'm so happy to finally have them loose and complete. I got to get the rest of those Fiat's, right? All right, there's a new set of boulevards out. Um, I do have it on the way. So when I get that, I'll go ahead and open it up on the channel. Like always, thank you guys for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe.